Good morning. All right, what are we doing? Oh yeah. Uh, minus two. Ability damage minus twelve. Um. <laughs> Well, that's no good. Okay. What am I doing? Exploring. Uh, try resting real quick. That is way too much ability damage. is better. Minus seven. Can I just camp a bunch of times? Yeah, one more. There we go. Nice. Okay. Actually, what do I need to do to finish this troll trouble? Uh, oh yeah, I need to tell a coon. To find the... Hmm. Talk to her at the tavern. And then meet the nymph at the verdant chambers. Um, okay, so I need to go back. Let's go.
Sometimes this horse goes really fast and other times it doesn't. Ooh. Shambling mound. You okay? Uh, 68 hit points, energy resistance, fire. Okay. Should be fine. We can do it. We'll do it the hard way. Let's uh, get some magic missile going on you. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. That was easy. That magic missile's strong. What's this? Oh. Okay, so I need to talk to Ikun and that lady at the tavern. Arrest is in order. Yeah, yeah, we're here. Let's see what kingdom stuff's going on. Bandits outrage triumph. Beautiful. Ooh, 100 BP. Heck yeah. Triumph. Ancient tradition. Failure. <laughs> Bay magician. Ah, uh, that's fine. True masterpiece. Excellent. Ooh, bald hilltop. It is indeed cursed. Up in when dark rituals and powers whose names are forgotten held sway over this domain. Uh, however, the curse's target is just a small patch of land on top of the hill. It is unlikely that the curse caused any of the attacks on the barony. Hmm. Um, and of course, there's like a bajillion other things to do. Problem. Okay. The River Maiden. There's a mermaid in a river where trade ships operate. She's begun to sink passing vessels. She must be chased away. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, wait, wait. Yeah, let's chase you away. You can't just be sinking vessels. Um, let's do opportunities last. Problem, trade taxes. I feel like Jubilost would be all over that. Uh, okay. Opportunity, opportunity. And then what projects do we have? Scythe tree. Village on the marshes. Marshes. Okay. So we'll get that. We'll get that. This opportunity should be seized. All right. Christian. All right. There we go. Why are you already on this? Okay. Nice. Okay. Let's go to the throne room then. Oh, I should go see if I can upgrade my buildings. Good day, your grace. A courier has delivered a letter from Magar Varn, the ruler of the colony to the east of our capital. 
If the messenger words are to be believed, he has a lucrative offer for you. He wants to establish a trade route between your realms. Sounds good. At the end of that, okay. Trishan, there's a look of determination on Trishan's face. I bring bad news from your subjects. Today, one of our citizens stopped me in the street and asked me to tell you something of import. You see, one of the traders who today sells imported specialties in the capital has not always led an honest life. Under the stag lord, he helped the bandits sell stolen goods, for a percentage of course. This scoundrel was far from the fort on the day you struck the decisive blow against the stag lord and his band, and today he continues trading in plain view of those who he recently helped rob. I never rush to judgment, but you must at least arrest this merchant to question him and give him a chance to repent. Think of those who see him in the streets every day, walking free and unpunished for his crimes. The people appeal to you for justice, Baroness. Um, yeah, I, I agree with that. I shall order that this merchant be detained. Of course, we will fully investigate all these rumors and get to the truth before we judge him. Perfect. That sounds reasonable. I mean, I guess we just made him guilty until proven innocent, but... Uh, unpleasant, but alas, expected news. Someone with access to the treasury seems to have appropriated a large sum from it. The circles of suspects is not particularly wide. I believe we will soon discover who is responsible. I, uh, I think I might know something about this, uh, and... Uh, no shocking, most shocking event. Can we discuss it one on one? Maybe I'll wait for you at the inn after the council. <laughs> oh no, Lindsay. Why'd you steal money? Chandra silently raises an eyebrow, but she refrains from commenting. <laughs> Easier to ask forgiveness. Nice. Um, what is that trade route thing? I think everybody's busy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's, um, well. What do we got? What, what, what do we got here? 14 days. 14, 14, 14, 10. Um, okay. Where is Ikun? So I need to go to the end to talk to Jenna about her kid. I need to talk to Lindsay about the money. And then I need to tell Ikun about the troll. Actually, I haven't even been to the inn yet, so... Wait, the inn or the tavern? Uh, what is the tavern? Well, let's go to the tavern. I don't even know what this is. Oh, yeah. Is this where Jenna is? Capital Tavern. Okay. Arrest is in order. Uh, where is Jenna? Well, there's Lindsay. I can go talk to her. Lindsay shuffles around nervously, fidgeting with a quill in her hands. She turns bright red. Well, about the embezzlement. I mean, um... <laughs> Calm down, Lindsay. Everything's fine. What is it you want to tell me? Lindsay takes a deep breath. Well, it was me, but I can explain. You see, I've always dreamed of owning my own printing house so I could print whatever books I want, and then I found out there was a printing press being sold for cheap in Brevoy, and, well, I just couldn't resist. Um... Alright, you can open your publishing house, but no more surprises. Thank you, you have my word, it won't happen again. There is one other problem, though. 
The press should have been delivered by now, but it hasn't shown up. I'm afraid that with our roads and the seeming menagerie that roams them, it might end up vanishing into thin air. Can we maybe go check on it, see if anything's happened? It was supposed to be coming across the old road through the gnarl marshes. Uh, I'll help you out, Lindsay. All right, let's go find your press. It's already been paid for after all. Yes, just don't leave without me. Oh, Lindsay. Mess. Okay. Um, I feel like I've spoken to her before. Behind the inn's bar stands a young woman with curly red hair, round face, and rosy cheeks. She gives you a friendly smile, fixing her cap. It's so nice of you to stop by, Your Grace. I'm Alina, the innkeeper. Do you have treats? Ooh. Um. What's the news around here? Best fish gets brought in from Silver Step Lake, but there's been trouble out there. They saw a strange boat on the lake, and the bandits are fooling around again. Uh, what rumors have you heard? Lately, everyone's been talking about the tower at Candlemere. They say the lights were dancing around it like a, like a busy cook stove. Everyone who saw it says different things. Some witness a dragon, some glowing hamsters crawling from the lake. They're probably all lying, but the place is definitely spooky and mysterious. I already handled that. Um, okay, we need to find... What the heck are these people doing? Uh, Jenna. Is she upstairs, maybe? Oh, there she is. Jenna looks at you with eyes red from tears. Have you found my little boy? Uh, I paid a visit to the witch. Your son isn't there. How can that be? And I thought... But, but if it wasn't her, then then that means the, the woman's face turns pale and she covers her mouth with both hands. Calm down, Jenna. Tell me, what did you hide from me? My boy, Jenna sobs. He was such a little mischief maker. That day, that day he was especially loud, kept running around the house. He flipped a tub of dough and, well, oh gods, what have I done? I lost my temper and I shouted at him. I told him he can go drown himself in Candlemere Lake, his own mother wishing he was dead. But how could I have known it would all come true? If you find him, I beg you, tell him I love him more than life itself. Never, never again shall I say anything mean to him. Just bring him back home safe and sound. Do people disappear frequently here? They sure do. There are so many hazards around, it's hard to name them all. Wild beasts in the forest and monsters and some troblins and bandits and whatever. Even adults have a hard time surviving here. And for a little kid, whew, may Aristel help you. So now I gotta go find him at a lake. All right. Let's go find a coon. He's not here, right? Alright, Jenna. Uh, main square? Question mark? <laughs> I wouldn't hurt to... Rest actually, I should check in. my potion situation real quick. Um... Another bane on you. You're fine. You're fine. Oh, everybody's good. Cool. Okay. Here he is. Uh, into the house. Okay. All right, Akun. Akundayo looks somewhere beyond you. Forgive me, friend. My thoughts are on Kargad right now. I killed Kargad. Akun closes his eye and sighs relieved. His wrinkled brow smooths somewhat. You stole my vengeance, but it's no grudge to hold. You did the right thing. Sorry about that. Akun stares at you closely. I want to know it all. Tell me how it happened. Tell me of his suffering. <laughs> we cut his guts open. Akun looks at you. For a long moment, it seems like he'll smile, but he never does. You freed the world of a terrible monster. 
By Torag, your fame uh, comes well earned, but it seems there was something else happening there. Uh, I'll, I'll be open with him. Okun seems surprised, then angry, then contemplative. Don't know if I have the courage inside to act that way, he says quietly. Vengeance is done, but the pain remains. You're worthy of the gratitude and loyalty. You'll get all the answers, I promise. I owe you. Akun stands absorbed in thoughts, which must be heavy as the gaze of his dark eyes. Noticing you, he gives you a distracted nod and waits for your questions. Um, what are your plans for the future? Akun look, eyes look at you, but his thoughts obviously wander somewhere else. To protect you, he shrugs. Doesn't matter. Uh... Sorry for your loss, Akun. Tell me if there's anything I can help you with. He nods gratefully. Thank you. Talking with you already helps. Okay, cool. Um, oh yeah, Verdant Chambers. Okay. He'd go drown in Candlemere Lake. I thought I just went to Candlemere, though. Hmm. Do we just level up? Woo! Uh, Okay, let's do this on the road. Good. A rest is in order. Um, okay. Let's save. And level up. Um, okay. So I think I wanted to do <clears throat> one level in Thug, right? Whenever a Thug successfully uses persuasion to demoralize a creature, the duration of the shaken condition is increased by one round. In addition, if the target is shaken for four or more rounds, the Thug makes the target frightened for one round. Okay, so we're going to do one round of thug. Um, so we want to keep your persuasion up then, as high as it can go. Athletics, knowledge world, and... Hmm. There you go. Your sneak attack damage, uh, when wielding a white weapon or any other weapon that can be used with weapon finesse. No, I don't think I want any of that. Um, armor focus is always good. Plus four dodge bonus to armor. Combat reflexes. Mm, you are especially hard to kill. When your hit point total is below zero but you are not killed, you can fight on for one more round as if disabled. At the end of your next turn, unless brought to above zero hit points, you immediately fall unconscious. Uh, two plus bonus on athletics checks. Greater fortitude. Hmm, plus four bonus on initiative checks? That could be good. Your physical might is intimidating to other. Add your strength modifier to your persuasion skill when used to intimidate. That would be good. Uh, what was that? OK, 
Okay, intimidating prowess is sounding pretty good. Um, get a plus two motion on persuasion. We have ten or more ranks in one of these skills. The bonus. Wait, what? You get a plus two bonus on all persuasion and perception skill checks. If you have ten or more ranks in one of these skills, the bonus increases. Hmm. I'm going to do this one. Okay. Weapon finesse. Brightening. Whenever a thug successfully uses persuasion, yep. And then this was add your strength modifier to your persuasion skill. Okay. Awesome. Um, Amiri, we're just gonna keep going barbarian for you. You're pretty, pretty straight up. Uh, athletics, mobility, nature, perception. There you go. What do you get? Alertness. Hmm. Hmm. Dodge, maybe? Endurance could be good. Extra rage. You can rage for six additional rounds per day. Extra rage power. The barbarian unlocks a new ability to use while raging. She gains one additional rage power. That could be cool. Ooh. Oh, I don't think that I want this. No, I think we're good there. Um, proved initiative could be good. Mm, whenever you and an ally who also has this feat... Uh, Choose a skill you're particularly... Yeah, you don't really have many skills. Vital Strike. You make a single attack that deals significantly more damage than normal. As a standard action, you can make one attack at your highest base damage that deals a demo... Uh, roll the weapon's damage dice for the attack twice and add the results together before adding bonuses from strength. Uh, versus what did I have up here? Improved initiative. Uh, hmm. Let's do improved initiative. I think I like that better. Damage reduction. Nice. Okay. Tavia. Octavia. Ooh, Arcane Trickster. With their mastery of magic, Arcane Tricksters can make for even more subtle or confounding opponents than standard rogues. Range. Blah, blah, blah. Arcane Spellcasting. New spells per day. The arcane trickster can use trickery at a range. That's cool. Sneak attack, impromptu sneak attack. Oh, these are all the levels. So level one, you get arcane spell casting. 
Yeah, let's do this. Choose a spell book. I'm a wizard, right? Yeah. Wizard. Um, okay. You need trickery, stealth, knowledge arcana. Oh, I can give you a lot more trickery. And mobility. There we go. Okay. Uh, let me look at something real quick. Um, Arcane Combat Specialist. Yeah, how come I don't have that shown available? Uh, I already have Arcane Combat Specialist. Arcane Combat Specialist. Arcane Armor Training. Arcane Strike. Hmm. Okay. Greater Spell Focus, Precise Shot, Spell Focus. What do I ha don't, don't I already have a couple of these? Spell focus, spell focus. Um, greater spell. Wait, did I already have transmutation? I do. Okay. So let's do greater spell focus. Uh, what are the spells that I have? Transmutation, Conjuration. Um, hang on. What are my... Ah, let's see. Spellbook. That's a evocation. Evocation. Yeah, let's do... um. Okay, so we're doing Arcane Trickster. Wizard. Um, mobility. Trickery. Stealth, Knowledge Arcana, Greater Spell Vocus, Evocation. There we go. Ooh, choose spells. Beast Shape. You become a medium wolf. Hmm, I don't know that I want to become a medium wolf. Uh, you hurl a fist sized ball of force. Deep Slumber. Oh, yeah. I think I wanted to get displacement for um, to put that on Valerie. Here was the target gains plus two morale bonus. Lightning bolt. Ooh. Maximum ten d six. That's bananas. Strike multiple creatures. It looks like it can hit um, Spiked Pit. All creatures within a 10-foot burst centered around target point. You create an extra dimensional hole with a depth of 10 
feet. The pit is lined with wickedly sharp spikes. To jump to safety. <laughs> Creatures subjected to an effect intended to push them into the pit. That's kind of cool. Creatures who fall into the pit take falling damage as normal, 1d6 bludgeoning damage, plus 2d6 points of piercing damage from spikes. To climb the pit's core stone walls, a creature need a successful athletics or mobility skill check with a DC of 25. That sounds pretty awesome. Lightning Bolt seems pretty awesome too. Let's try this pit. Well, I don't think I have Conjuration though, right? I think I have Transmutation, Evocation, and... Well, maybe I do have Conjuration. Okay. Awesome. Um... Ooh. Uh, yeah, let's Scorching Ray it up. Actually, this thing, I never use this, and I love Magic Missile. So let's do that. Large person. Yeah, good. Box, that's for yourself, right? Good. And then three, haste for sure. Um. Oh, I lose fireball though? Oh no. Displacement and spike pit. Awesome. Alright, Chiro. You're just straight ranger. So you need persuasion. And stealth. And athletics. Knowledge world is good for you. And perception. Uh, do I need perception? Maybe. Hmm... Okay, we can do perception. Boon companion. Your bond with your animal is unusually close. Abilities of your animal companion are calculated as though your class were four levels higher. Clustered shots. You take a moment to carefully aim your shots, causing them all to strike nearly the same spot. When you use a full attack to make multiple ranged weapon attacks against the same opponents, total the damage from all hits before applying. Okay... Can choose to take minus one penalty on ranged attack rolls to gain a plus two bonus on all ranged damage rolls. Repeatedly strike same location and uh hmm. Remember the gap sounds kinda good. Let's try Clustered Shots, though. Ooh, look at all these new spells. What's up? A rest is in order. Um, okay, what do we have? Aspect of the Falcon. I never use this Hurricane Bow. I should get something else. Um, your Animal Companion's Bite Attack deals an additional 1d4 points of acid damage. That's kind of cool. Summons a natural might. Let's try entangle. And then level two. Mm. 
ability allows you to make sneak attacks as the rogue ability of the same name, dealing an additional 1d6 points of damage. That could be cool. Sickening Entanglement. What was this one? 40 foot. Uh, except the plants are coated with an irritating sap that creates a painful itching rash. <laughs> Spiked growth. Um, let's do sense vitals. Cool. Okay, uh, jubilost. Going Alchemist, I think. Give you Trickery. <clears throat> Knowledge. Perception. There we go. Okay. Hang on a second here. So I think I need ability focus bombs, extra bombs, throw everything. I don't know where that is. Um, extra bombs. Ooh, ability focus, so I could do weapon focus bombs. Extra bombs. Oh, where did that go? You can throw four additional bombs per day. Okay. And then throw anything. Where's throw anything? All right, I already have ability focus bombs. Oh, and I already have throw anything. Why is it letting me a, a weapon focus bombs? I th okay, I think I need more bombs or extra bombs. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Protection from arrows, communal. Born body, no. Mm. No, that I'm particularly excited about. I already have Bomber's Eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, hmm. I guess. Uh, I mean, another haste is always good, I guess. Octavia already has that. Maybe I do heroism. I don't know what to do. Don't I already have displacement? Hmm... All right, displacement, done. All right, Trishan. Let's go, bro. Uh, okay, knowledge for show, or religion, persuasion's good, perfect. Uh, let's see. What do I have, enchantment? Uh, hang on. Hang on. Enchantment. Conjuration could be good for healing. Mainly enchantments, though. Um...
We'll do greater spell focus for right now. Nice. Shield of Dawn. Cool. All right, that's everybody. Save. A rest is in order. A rest is needed. A rest is always needed. Where was I going? Candlemere Lake? Candlemere Tower. Uh, go here for now. I wonder if there's a place other than Candlemere Tower. Lost Child. She wished she'd go drown in Candlemere Lake. Hmm. Is it the tower, though? Uh, let's circle around, I think, first. I want to explore a little bit anyway. Let's see what's over here. Alright. Hey. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what's over here. A rest is in order. Uh, jeez, you guys need to rest a lot. All right, let's rest. Check out this village. Okay. Oh, I need to update my spells real quick. Oh. An old lizard folk is wandering outside of the village walls. He stares at you with shiny, beady eyes. Warm blood, old Kagar knew you come. Yes. You look for a youngling, yes? He here, alive. Other time, we eat him long ago, but Longtail tribe gone crazy. Maybe you save him, maybe not. Maybe too late to save anyone. Yes. I'm looking for a missing boy. Is Where is he? Inside village. Alive. For now. All old Kagar know. Kagar not go village in long, long ago. Who are you? Old Kagar Rattler. Play rattle, sing songs, tell tales. Kagar know many things. Where tribe come, how, how live, who win. People without history like wild animal. One day alive, next day dead. Kagar keep memory, tell stories to young. Um, why don't you go to the village? Were you banished? Not banished, no. Kagar flee on own. Evil spirit come to tribe. Pretend be great ancestor. Destroy long tails. Chieftain believe spirit. Tribe believe chieftain. Oh, Kagar, only one nobody believe. Kagar know in heart that great ancestor is false. Kagar wish him dead. Flee from village, live in woods. Walk around village, sing songs. Try call to cry, tribe's wisdom. But where that wisdom? Kegar no magic. If come to spirit hut, can make evil spirit visible, but spirit no too. If Kegar enter village, he not live live long. Hmm. Okay. Find the missing child. Don't hesitate. Okay. Um. I don't think you have any new skills. You got something new, didn't you? Oh no, I think you got increased initiative. You got some new stuff. Um, you have way too many things. Okay, so these are all buffs. Um, 
Hmm. Do I have to cast this? Arcane Trickster can use Trickery at a range. Yeah, might as well just have that going, right? Um, displacement. What else did we get? I uh, already got the fireball pit. Haste. Yep. Fox web, scorching ray. Enlarge, flaming hand, magic muscle. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, let's move this stuff down. There we go. Okay, this you... Is my path. Oh yeah, sense vitals, nice. Why does your, um... Wait, where'd your aspect of the falcon go? Oh, it's the same icon. That's confusing. Uh, probably that way. <laughs> okay. Um, you, I don't think you got anything new. You just have more bombs, right? Add mixture. Uh, oh, yep, got that stuff. Yep. All right, you're good. Right here, my friend. And then you. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think I updated your spell book. Hang on. I did you. I did not do you. Uh. We can double up on Cat's Grace. Displacement. And then Tristian. Tristian, Tristian, Tristian. What are we doing here? Um, what are we doing? This is self, right? We don't want that. Uh, already got Shield of Faith. More Bless is always good. More Bane is always good. Alright, I think that looks good. Um, here. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Level 3. Um... Three. Yes, I think that's good. Um, forced repentance. Uh, controlled fireball. Any creature that strikes you. Hmm. Neutralize poisons only one person. Uh, oh, neutralize poison. You detoxify any sort of venom in the creature. Hmm. I don't really like any of these. Divine power, I guess. When laying your hand upon a living creature, you channel positive energy that covers 48 points of damage plus one. All right. Cure, I guess, is good. Um, protection from energy communal. Don't I have that? Oh, resist energy communal. Hmm. 
Ooh, immunity to the type. That's pretty cool. Restoration. Also dispels temporary negative levels or one permanent negative level. That would be good. Let's put that on. Okay. My skills are getting rusty. New displacement can go here. There you go. Oop. Okay. And then you. Um. We got a lot of stuff, don't we? Wait a minute. Well, this was your buff. Um, where'd the other restoration go? Wait a minute. Didn't I have two restorations? Where's this level 4 spell? Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay, critical wounds. That one. And then divine power. Oh, okay, I see what I did. Wait a minute. Okay, I think that's it. And you got a lot of stuff. Okay. Wait a minute, do I still have summon monster or do I take that off? Eh, I don't need this summon monster. I'd rather have more heals. <clears throat> okay. So these can go. That's kind of your personal buff. Uh... Okay. Um, okay. Okay. There we go. All right. Let's go see what's going on with this kid. Lizard Folk Berserker. A group of warlike wizard lizard folk guards the village gates. Noticing you, they raise their weapons. Alt, warm blood. Why come? Friend or foe? War or peace? Um. Ooh. Yeah, you can't just be kidnapping kids. I came to take the child, and I will take him by force if necessary. Nice. Uh, lizard folk examine your gear with long contemplative looks. Finally, one of them speaks to you, trying to control his trembling voice. Warm blood is mighty warrior. Yes. We take to Chieftain Veskit's hut. You talk him. We show you. Or we show way. A sturdy lizard folk is waiting for you in the hut. He's a head taller than the rest of his tribe, and his well-muscled body is covered in scars, displaying the experience of countless battles. <clears throat> oh, Nice. It isn't easy to read the lizard folk's body language, but his shallow breath and jerky movements are consistent with deep exhaustion. It's possible the chieftain hasn't gotten a good night's sleep in a long while. What's that, warm blood? Why you come? Best get not call for you. Why you here? Tell quick. Uh, your tribe is holding a human child. I came to take him back. The chieftain hisses loudly. 
You can't take warm blood, youngling. Great Stishak claimed youngling for himself. You not anger, Stishak. Mm. I'm not paying for his return. I've come to take our child back. Will you release him of your own free will, or will I have to cut you down? Chieftain Veskit look, uh, locks eyes with you for a long time, then looks away. Warm blood won't scare me? Ha! Long tails eat dozen warm bloods for lunch. Take lousy youngling. Veskit not need him. He is in spirit hut. Take him and leave at once before Veskit become angry and change mind. Yes. I'll go to the spirit hut and talk to this great ancestor of yours. Probably shouldn't steal right in front of you. Uh, to the clutch hut. Uh, yes, yeah, a lot of dudes. I definitely don't want to fight in here. Sound this giant drum probably travels many miles. No stopping now. Spirit Hut. Here we go. Save. Uh, okay. A young boy stands in the middle of the hut. He's pale and his eyes are wide and frantic, but when he opens his mouth, a much older voice emerges, confident and derisive. Kneel before a great ancestor, mortals, or I'll punish you. The child bursts into a spooky laughter. <laughs> All right, enough games. I understand that. I understand you're here to take the boy. Hmm. Who or what exactly am I talking to? You can call me the Count Shimmerglow, Your Excellency, to my friends. I own this village and all these foolish lizards. You wouldn't want to get on my bad side. Uh, who are you? A ghost? Evil spirit? I need to know who I'm dealing with. It's hard to detect what you're speaking with. A ghost? Demon? Fey? Maybe something even more exotic. Regardless, it doesn't seem that he's possessing the boy. It's most likely that he's standing near the boy, invisible, and controlling the boy telepathically. Oh yes, what could I be? A mystery, a secret, a delightful charade. Aha, it's enough for you uh, to know I'm not the last one at the court of a particularly important influential person. And what influential personage would that be? If you mean a god, I don't know of any gods in the world matching that description. What makes you think my patron is of your world? What would you, a mortal waste of flesh, know of the first world and its gods? You shouldn't even speak its name above a respectful whisper. Release the child immediately. Are you this rude to everyone you visit? All right, you want me to set the boy free? It's negotiable. You'll need to provide me something of value in return, of course. The boy was just a whim. I don't mind partnering with him so long as you provide me something more valuable in return. Say, an old lizard folk? A rattler, they call him? He walks around outside the village regularly. Bring him here, alive, and I'll release the child. Why do you need the rattler? I've grown tired of the old lizard and his rattle. His songs drain the fear from the tribe. However, I can sense that he fears me as well. Hmm, yes, that sounds tasty. I'll take great joy in feeding off his final fear. Hmm, maybe we can strike some other deal? No, no, no. You want to haggle? Try the marketplace. My terms are non-negotiable. I thought you said it was negotiable. Um, if you want the child, bring me the old rattler. Veskit, your great ancestor has need of you. Hurry. Whoa. So he is just controlling all these people. Um, all right, where's uh, can I get out? Um, 
You are right. An evil spear is pretending to be your great ancestor. We want to stop him. Come with us. The dark lizard folk's eyes light up. Ah, Kagar knew there is still hope for a longtail tribe. Listen carefully, warm blood. When you come spirit hut, not be scared. Old Kagar make magic there. Evil spirit become visible. Then you hit it. Main thing is not be scared, yes? Well, warm blood, lead way. And here's the old lizard now, so... Stupid chieftain, look at what you worship. Yes. Oh, God, one of these guys. Okay, so let's get some resist energy lightning. Or electricity. Um, oh, wait a minute. Let us strike as one. You guys Tear attack. Um, magic missiles, good. Consider me provoked. Let's try. Sense vitals, and then you spam fire. A clever ploy. Okay. <laughs> Probably be also good to get uh, haste on. Uh, let's get haste. Ow. And let's get displacement on Valerie. Why are you attacking me? What did I do to you? Nice. Warm blood save Longtail tribe from huge evil. May sun and moon bless Warm blood. May her ancestors smile at her, always at her. What will happen to your tribe now? Kagar not know. Damage too big. We stay in village, not survive long. Need go somewhere away from thick skins. Look for a new place to live. Your tribe has taken a huge blow. If you wish, we could give you shelter in one of our towns. Warmblood done lots for long tails, but we not take too many gifts, yes. Otherwise, we lose our heart. All right, respect. Who we become in your big cities? Beggars, vermin like rats? We need find our own path, yes. All right, cool. Cool. Um, all right. I wonder if there's anything else to do here. I'm gonna talk to the chief real quick. Onwards. Let's see what he has to say now. Oh. Kagar's here. Okay. Um, alrighty. I think we are done. Cool. Uh, do I want rapid shot on? I'm gonna take that off for a little bit. Uh, actually, can I camp in here? Cannot. Okay. Ooh. Trident, hide armor, amulet. Amulet of natural armor. Hide armor plus one. Hmm. I don't know if any of that's good, but I'll take it. Okay, rest. And I am going to end here for today. And I will probably be back on same time tomorrow. So thanks all for watching. Hope you have a good day.